glory to God, we are alive. Praise God, praise God, family. Welcome, welcome to Faith Talk and Miracle Moments. There is a miracle with your name on it. Yes, thank you, family. Thank you for joining me. All right. Welcome, welcome. Don't watch alone. As you come in, just share this broadcast. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Welcome, 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 family. There is a miracle with your name on it. Let me know where you're watching from. Yes, I want you to like, to love, to subscribe, to share. Yeah, share. Click the share button. Don't watch alone. Don't watch alone. Let's share this broadcast right now. I have a word from God for you today. There is a mandate from heaven. It's high time to get everything you want. And I'm going to be talking to you about that today. So don't watch alone. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. When I see you, I'm going to recognize you. Welcome. Yeah, thank you for, let me put this on. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. As you watch, don't watch alone. I want you to like, I want you to share. And let me know where you're watching from. When I see you in a moment, I'm going to recognize you. I'm just going to, I'm trying to get this out here. Yes, like, love, share the broadcast. Thank you, Jesus. All right, family, God bless you. When I see you, I'm going to recognize you. Let me know where you're watching from. I have a word from God. I have a mandate from God to speak into your life to so that you can have everything you've ever wanted you can have what you want it's time to get what you want all right i see yes family joining i see my wife glory to god god bless you man of god thank you for joining thank you for joining faithful faithful uh watchers and you know viewers i see my wife yes she said hello love i see you god bless you i think i see oh sister joy Anne is on also from Florida. Beautiful. Awesome. So let me know where you're watching from. I'm going to recognize you right now as I see you. This is Bishop. There's somebody else watching. Um, Bishop Bansi from Africa, Uganda. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you. Don't watch alone. Keep liking. Keep sharing. Let's saturate the airwave with this good news. Let people know that God is already moving. Yes, I want to. I have a word from God. I have a mandate to speak to you today, you know, on how to get everything you want. That's what we're going to be looking at today. How to get everything you want. Have you had needs in your life? Have you had lack in your life? Are, are there things you desire that have not, you know, become a reality yet? Are there things you want to see that you don't even know how to make it happen? I'm going to share with you today, you know, on how to get everything that you want in your life. This is the day the Lord has made, and this day is going to be a memorable day in your life. Because after this broadcast, you will not lack any good thing again in your life. You'll be able to get everything that you want. Yes, I'm speaking as a man sent by God to you. I'm the carrier of your miracle. I'm the man that has the word of God that will you know, show you the path of life on how to get 
everything you want. So don't watch alone. I want you to share this broadcast. Let me know where you're watching from. I'm going to get to the word in a minute. As I look at, as I, as I see you, this is Faith Talk. And I think I see Stacy uh, also watching. Stacy uh, Musler, where are you watching from, Stacy? God is good all the time. Let me know where you're watching from. Let me know where you're watching from. When I see you, I'm going to recognize you and I'm going to uh, begin to speak God's word to you. But that's what we want to look at today, how to get everything that you want. I'm going to pray and get into the word of God right now. Yeah, this is Faith Talk. You are watching Faith Talk and Miracle Moments with Bishop O. Olafe. I want you to take time out to share this. I'm live on my Facebook page. Uh, I'm also live, you know, uh, on HOD Radio. I'm live also on Twitter. So I want you to subscribe. If you are watching me on YouTube, I want you to subscribe to my YouTube page at Household of Faith for All Nations so that anytime I come on, you can always be notified. If you are watching me on Facebook, like my Facebook page at Bishop O. Olafe. If you are if you are watching me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter at Bishop Olafe. That's my Twitter handle right there. Yeah, so like, love, share, bring more people on, subscribe. I want you to subscribe to uh, this broadcast right now. Subscribe so that we can have, yes, subscribe. This is, let me give you that information one more time. Subscribe. I'm live every Tuesday at 3.30 p.m. Eastern and um, 3.30 p.m. Eastern, 8.30 p.m. GMT. So subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter so that anytime I come on, you can easily be notified. This is Faith Talk and Miracle Moment. And I want you to know that God has a miracle with your name on it. Don't watch this broadcast alone. I want you to share. I want you to love it. I want you to bring um, other people on so they can know we are on. Praise God. I'm going to get into the world right now. And I, when I see you, I'm going to recognize you. Let me see if I have a new joiner. Yes, okay. Uh, Stacy Muller is watching from Niagara, Ontario, <laughs> Canada. Canada is on today. Praise God. We have Canada on. Yes, um, we have um, Uganda on. We have Florida on. We have Georgia on. Let me know where you're watching from. God has a miracle for you today. Let's look at what we're going to be talking about and we're going to get into the world right now because I'm in a hurry. God is in a hurry to put into your hand your desire. It's high time you get everything you want. It's high time you get everything you want and I'm going to show you how to do that. Yes, how to get, this is what we're going to be looking at today, how to get everything, everything that you want. Yes, you will not lack what you want anymore after today. So let me pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this sacred moment. Thank you for this uh, beautiful people, this friend of mine that is watching right now. Uh, family, I pray, oh God, that as I speak your word, I'm asking in the name of Jesus that everything they want becomes a reality in their life. Father, I pray that you would open this person's eyes and understanding to receive this miracle word that you are sending to bring about the supply and the delivery of his or her desire. From this day, let nothing this person want, oh God, be difficult to assess anymore. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Glory to God. Welcome to Faith Talk and Miracle Moment. This is what I want to talk to you about today. I want to talk to you about how to get everything you want. Everything you want. You can get it. You know, have you had luck in your life? Are there be things, you know, that you want to have? or accomplish that has not materialized? Have you, uh, have you had things that you desire that you've not been able to get? I want to tell you that this few minutes that I'm going to share with you, I'm going to talk to you, it's going to change everything about your life. Because from this day forward, everything you want, you'll be able to get it. Because if you want it, it means it is available. If you desire it, it means it is obtainable. And I'm going to show you 
how to get what you want and what to do to get it. <laughs> That's very powerful. How to get what you want and what to do to get it. So your days of uh, days of lack, days of not being able to get what you want, those days are over for you from today. Yes. I'm going to show you how to get what you want. I mean, I'm going to show you how to get it. I'm even going to help you to get it. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to get what you want. I'm even going to help you to get it today. Yes, from this moment, you can get what you want. That's the beauty of what we're going to look at today. So let's get into it. You said, is it possible for me to get everything that I want? Yes, it's possible and it's going to become your reality. It's going to become your experience. You're going to have testimonies. You're going to have miracles. You're going to have everything you want in your life from this moment as I share with you because I'm sent by God to talk to you today that what you want in your life is available, it is obtainable, and you can get it. So how do I get everything that I want? Look at it. Let me start and we roll from here. You can have whatsoever you desire oh my god that's god's word to you god god the all sufficient god you see listen let me start let me maybe i should say this i'm going to be talking to you about you know what god has said what god has for you god is the source of our total supply god can make your dreams come to pass god can bring your desire and make them a reality you can have what you want. I love what the Bible says here in Mark chapter 11. Mark 11 and verse number 24. I'm a man of God, so I'm going to speak to you. And that's why this program is called Faith Talk. Faith Talk. I'm going to be talking to you. When you hear from God, your faith is going to be energized. And once, you, once your faith is activated, things are going to begin to happen in your life. But look at what... This is very powerful because a whole lot of people can't seem to wrap their mind around the truth that they can get everything that they want. So when I say that, it seems like, oh, it's a heavy, uh, a big deal, but it's possible and it's going to be your reality. Look at what the Bible says here, and I'm going to read the Bible. The Bible says in Mark, you know, 11.24, Mark 11, 24, I'm talking to you on how to get everything you want. It says, what, so, what things soever you desire, you can have them. What things soever you desire. So do you have things that you desire? What are the things that you desire? What things soever you desire? You can have whatsoever you desire. What are the things that you desire? I don't know what it is that you desire. And I can't even see you, you know, maybe telling me what you desire. If I can see them, maybe I can pick them and look at them. Do you desire uh, marriage? Do you desire a new home? Do you desire a job? What do you desire? What things soever you desire? God is saying, you can have it. You can have whatsoever you desire. What do you desire? You, what, what, what are your desires? This is the key here. Number one, know that you can have it. You can have it. Settle that in your heart. Your desire is not too far-fetched. Your desire is not too uh, big that you can acquire it. In fact, if you desire it, it means that God wants you to have it. Because my Bible tells me that God will give you the desires of your heart. God will, can give you the desires of your heart. You know, so let me even start by telling you that, look, everything I'm going to be saying to you today will be what God can do in your life. You know, uh, so I don't know if you don't, if you don't know God yet, or if you don't believe in God, this might be a reason for you to know God and to believe in God. So the first thing is that what thing soever you desire, do you have a desire? What do you desire? Do you desire a breakthrough? Do you desire favor? Do you desire a car? Anything that you desire can be yours. You say, man of God, how can it be? How can I have 
whatsoever I desire. This is the key. Like I said to you, I want to show you how you can get everything you want, ever wanted. Everything you want, you can get it. But I'm establishing to you, and I want you to know, in fact, your story is changing right now. I can sense in my spirit that your desires are going to become your reality. You're going to acquire your desire. You're going to be able to get your desire. Look at it. How do I get everything that I want? It says, what thing soever you desire, how do I get it? Pray. <laughs> Pray. What thing soever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. That is the word of God to you. What thing soever you desire, when you pray, you see, you think you, you know, you might not even know what prayer is, but prayer is communing with God. Prayer is talking to God. So if you can talk to God, you can talk to God. You can talk to God the same way you're talking to me. You, the same way you're talking to your friends. You can talk to God about your desire. And what things soever you desire, when you pray, when you pray, believe you receive them and you shall have them. So your desires, you can have, you can have whatsoever you desire. Like I said to you, I want to tell you how to get everything you ever wanted. I'm talking to you now about your desire. So your desire can be acquired. You can acquire your desire. But the currency to acquire your desire is your prayer. It's so simple, but yet so profound. When you pray, have you been praying? Do you know how to pray? I can teach you how to pray. I can show you how to pray. But the simplest way I can tell you to pray is to talk to God about it. Prayer is communion. It's talking to God. You see, you're trying to get your desire, but you are not applying the, uh, the, the, the principle. You are not following the steps. That's why you don't have it. You are not asking God. You are trying to do it. In other, you are, you are trying to use other means, but I'm showing you now a sure way, an excellent way, a guaranteed way to get in your desire. And I pray for you today. I'm praying for you right now. The grace to pray, may it come upon you. May you, so if you have to learn anything, my God, concerning your desire, if you have to learn anything, what you need to learn to do is to pray is to pray. You, you know, if you don't have it, it's because you have not prayed. But when you pray, you're going to have it. Because this is the word of the God that cannot lie. This is the integrity of God. This is the, sh the way of life. He said, God will show you the pathway to acquiring your desire. And I prophesy over you that from today, every of your desires will no longer elude you. So if you have had desires and they have not come to pass, if you have had desires and you have not been able to acquire them, I've just shown you right now, the first thing I've shown you today is that you can have what things soever you desire. What things soever you desire, you can have it. But what you need to do is to pray. Don't argue. <laughs> don't argue. Don't be a skeptic. Don't be an unbeliever. Don't. This is not the time to, to begin to argue because this is the way to get it. This is the way to get it. So you can have your desire. What, what things, and I love the way it is said here in scripture. What things, soever, what things, whatever it is, what I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, if it is your desire, if you can pray about it, if you can talk to God about it, it will become a reality in your life. That's it. I'm going to I'm going to move on to show you something else. Yeah, that's it. It's all up to you. It's all up to you. Yes. In fact, I'm going to show you a scripture in a minute. I'm going to show you something from the Bible uh, in a minute. But let me take you to somewhere else now. So your desire. Now, let me show you something else. Uh, Matthew chapter number 21. I'm, I'm talking to you today about how to get what you want. I've just shown you how to get, you know, your desire. Now, let me show you something else here. Uh, 
let me show you something else here. Uh, Matthew 21, Matthew 21, and I'm reading verse number 22. This is very powerful. Matthew 21, 22. He said, all things, <laughs> I love that again, all things whatsoever, you can have it. You can have all things, all things. What does all things mean? What does it mean to have all things? You can receive all things, all things, all things whatsoever. You ask in prayer, believing you shall receive them. So you can receive all things, all things. But again, here, you are saying that you can receive it through prayer. So why have you not been praying? Or why should you not pray? <laughs> I mean, that's it. All things. There is no other guarantee anywhere. Nothing else can guarantee what you want to receive like this guarantee you're getting here. All things, whatsoever you ask in prayer, believe you receive. So that means in prayer, you got to ask. You got to make a request for all things, all things, all things, whatsoever. All things. Oh, okay. Here we are on the, we're on the second thing. Now. You can receive all things whatsoever. What are the things you want to receive? Do you want to receive a promotion? Do you want to receive help? Do you want to receive favor? Do you want to receive a breakthrough? What do you want to receive? What anything you want to receive, all things, you can receive it when you pray. That's it. So I'm showing you by the Spirit of God, I'm here by the, by the Spirit of God to help you to get everything you want. Everything. And that's why the, I'm showing you all things. So you have to, you know, uh, you have to follow the process to getting it. It's not just wishing for it that will make it happen. Maybe you have wished for it. It's not crying about it that will make it happen. It's asking for it in prayer. Asking for it in prayer. Oh, do not deny yourself. Do not deny yourself you know, anymore. Do not deny yourself what you want anymore because you. the reason you don't have it right now is probably because you have not prayed. You have not asked. So I've shown you two ways to get it now. You can talk to God about it. You can ask about it and you will receive it. So do not deny yourself what you want anymore. You say, man of God, how am I denying myself? If you are not praying about it, if you are not uh, talking to God about it, if you are not asking for it, then you are denying yourself. And he says, when you ask, believe. I love that. All things whatsoever you ask in prayer, believe you shall receive them. It's time to get rid of your skepticism. It's time to get rid of your unbelief. It's time to get rid of your doubt. It's time to embrace faith. It's time to trust in the Lord with all your heart. It's time to, if you, it's time to, it's high time. Now is the time. Your season has come. Your day has come. Your hour has come. And nothing you want will be denied you anymore. You know, that's why it's important to cultivate a relationship with God. You need to cultivate a living relationship, an active relationship with the living God. In fact, I love you know what the Bible says. It says, God richly gives us all things to enjoy. <laughs> God, the living God, gives us richly all things to enjoy. So all the things you, you desire, you can acquire it because God is not holding back. With God, with God, all things that you want can become a reality in your life. And my Bible tells me that God richly gives us all things to enjoy. All things. <laughs> 
Yes, that's what that's what the Bible says. The living God. I love. Let me read this to you. The living God. Let me talk to you about this. The living God. The living God gives us all things richly to enjoy. So you can enjoy your life. You can enjoy your life. Um, yes. You can enjoy your life. You don't have to endure your life. You can enjoy your life. And you can enjoy everything you want in this life. You can enjoy everything you want. It says, God richly, the living God richly gives us all things, all things. God is ready to give you all things to enjoy. The living God is giving you all things to enjoy. So why should you not enjoy your life? You should begin to enjoy your life from this moment. You should begin to enjoy your life. I'm showing you how you can begin to enjoy your life, how you can have what you want, how you can have an enjoyable life, how you can enjoy your life. You can enjoy the best things of life, how you can get everything you want. And God is the giver of it all. God is the source of it all. God is the provider of it all. And God wants to provide it for you. And God wants you to have it. So you can have it if you're going to talk to him about it. So I'm telling you how to get everything you want. And I'm also telling you how to get it. The way to get it is to relate with God. You have to learn to relate with God. Oh, yeah. If you don't relate with God, you can't have everything you want. But if you relate with him, and I'm showing you how to relate with him, you can have what you want in your life. You can have everything that you want. Yes. You, you know, uh, you can live a life of no lack. You can live your life without lacking any good thing. <laughs> you can lack no good thing in your life. You say, yeah, that's it. You can lack no good thing in your life. You say, is that possible? Oh, yes. You can live a life of no lack where every good thing you want in your life is available for you. That's, I'm glad you're watching and I'm glad you're listening. If you're just joining me, this is Faith Talk. Look at the scripture here, Psalm uh, 34, verse 10. Psalm 34, verse 10. Look at what the Bible says here. And I want you to, I want you to hear it because I'm showing you from God's word how to get everything that you want. Psalm 34, Psalm 34, and verse number 10. Look at what the Bible says. Very profound scripture. It says, watch this now. I love this. It said, the young lions do lack and suffer hunger. Lions, the young lions, lions, they lack and suffer hunger. But they that seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. <laughs> so it's possible not to lack any good thing in your life. Are you lacking any good thing right now? But the key is what I'm sharing with you right now. How to not lack any good thing in your life. Is so powerful, it's so profound. Those who pursue God, if you pursue God passionately, <laughs> those who pursue the Lord passionately will never lack any good thing. <laughs> That's it. Those who pursue the Lord passionately will never lack any good thing. So are you lacking any good thing in your life? The reason that lack exists is who you are pursuing or what you are pursuing. If you can begin to pursue God passionately, pursue him passionately with, with all your heart, then you will not lack any good thing in your life. You see, I wish I could tell you that you could get everything you want 
without doing nothing. I wish I could tell you that. And in fact, I know that you are doing something to get what you want. But I've come also to realize that you might actually be doing the wrong thing or you might be going about it the wrong way. So that's why I'm sharing with you the more excellent way to get everything you want. And in the scripture, in Psalm 34 verse 10, the Bible says, those who passionately pursue the Lord will never lack any good thing. That's the secret. That's the master key. That's your cue. That's what you need. Those who pursue the Lord passionately will never lack any good thing. Can I prophesy grace upon your life from this day to begin to pursue God passionately? I don't know what you've been pursuing. I don't know what you've been pursuing. But if you will pursue the Lord passionately, because God has everything that you want with him. God is the source of your total supply. In fact, the Bible says every good and every perfect gift or perfect thing that we need in our life, it comes from God. It comes from God. Don't believe any other lie. Don't settle in your heart and pursue God passionately with your heart and you will not lack any good thing in your life. Whether it is health, whether it is wealth, whether it is happiness or joy or victory or success or blessings, whatever it is, you will not lack it anymore because if you pursue God, you're going to have everything that you want. You're not going to lack anything. Even the lions, I love what the Bible says. It says, even the strong and the wealthy, the lions, they grow weak and hungry. The lions, as strong as they are, the king of the jungle, they go hungry. The rich also cry. <laughs> but those who passionately pursue the Lord will never lack any good thing. Do you really want what you want? <laughs> Or you just, you know, you're just joking about it. But if you really want it, this is the key. This is your cue. This is the more excellent way to get everything you ever want. Praise God. Yeah, I've been, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm, 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 I'm going to continue in a minute. But let me check, you know, let me, let me, let me, let me, you know, uh, check, you know, and maybe introduce my books to you. Let me introduce my books to you. Right now, before I go further, let me tell you about some of these materials. There will be a blessing to you. Glory to God. Watch this now. Thank you, Father. Um, let me show you. Let me let me introduce my book. I want you to get my books. They are available on Amazon.com. They are also available on our website. I'm going to continue the teaching or this conversation with you in a minute. But I want to, you know, introduce you to my books. And I can get a breather there. And then we're going to continue. Glory be to God. Yes. Look at it here. You can get my books on Amazon.com or Orphan.org. This book here, God will fix it. Oh, yeah. You can't do without God. You need God in your life. The, once you have God, the meaning of God means the one that can do for you what you cannot do for yourself. So you need God to help you. In fact, in this book, if you want God to fix anything in your life, this book will show you how you can get God to fix the issue, the bugging issues, the troubling issues of your life. God can fix it for you. Get this book and you're going to have a miracle in your life. Then watch this also. This is a very powerful book. Seven ideas that can revolutionize your life. Seven ideas. Ideas rule the world. You just need ideas in your life to become a winner. So get this book. And you're going to receive ideas that will make cause you to begin to win. You know, the, this book is not giving you ideas, but it's going to, you know, stimulate your mind. So that you, when you ponder on some nuggets, they are nuggets. When you ponder on this nugget, 
your mind is going to be stimulated and ideas are going to flood your mind and your heart. And then you're going to begin to have, you know, big breakthroughs. You're going to begin to rule, you know, in the midst of your challenges and adversity because ideas rule the world. One idea is all you need to rule your world. And I pray for you that that idea will come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Watch this also. This another book here. Healing is the children. All these books, they are e-books. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Lord. They are e-books. You don't have to wait for me to mail it to you. If you go to Amazon.com, my bookstore there, if you look, the, 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 the address is on your screen. Just write it down. You know, Amazon.com slash Bishop Olawali Olawfe or visit Hoffman.org. These are ebooks. You don't have to wait for me to mail it. You can download them and start, you know, you know, enjoying the virtue, drawing the virtue that they deliver. This book, Healing is the Children's Bread, is for your divine health, is for your healing, for your health and recovery. Because you can live in divine health, you don't have to be sick another day in your life. So with this, when you read this book, you're going to get revelation on how to stay healthy and how not to be sick again. It doesn't matter what the sickness is. God can shield you from every kind of sickness. In fact, he said, I'm the Lord that healed you. So get this book, very powerful, uh, on Amazon.com, orphan.org. Then here again, it's another book here. Uh, this is a prayer manual for creativity. Prayer manual for creativity. Prayers that open up the mind for creativity. Look at it here. You can get this book on Amazon.com on, on our website. Get it and it will, it will bless your life. Prayers that open up the mind for creativity. Glory be to God. Watch this also. <laughs> yes, go forward. This book will help you to make unstoppable progress. Go forward. Yes, God wants to propel you forward. He wants you to go forward faster and further. But you can, you can find the secret. You know, life is all about secrets. Information empowers your life. Information, you know, but confidence. If you know what to do, you will not stumble again anymore. You begin to make unstoppable progress. So get this book. It will be a blessing to you. And I have, okay, of course, prayers that work wonder for increase. God wants to increase you more and more. Increase can come into your life. You can have increase uh, financially, material increase. You can increase on every side. But you need to know how to pray. I've been talking to you about the need to pray. Some people don't pray because they don't know how to pray. But this is a prayer manual. It will, you will receive guidance on how to pray and how to pray to experience increase in your life. So get it today, and it will be a blessing to you. If you go to Amazon.com, there are lots of other books there. I, I want to encourage you to get. I have a lot of books there you will need to get. You know, seven ways to solve problems. Seven ways to solve problems. Seven success secrets for the believers. Seven things to do when disappointment happens. Seven ways to make more money. You know, and uh, Wonders Unlimited is your heritage. So visit Amazon.com or visit our website, Hoffman.org. You're going to get the, the, the you're going to get all these books. They're e-books and they'll be a blessing to you. So get them and then, you know, your life is not going to be the same again. Glory be to God. Before I continue the message, let me also um, tell you how you can connect with me. If, you know, you can connect with me one-on-one -on -one for your personal prophecy, for your biblical guidance. If you want a Rema word, you know, you want a Rema word. That means a noun word, a God word for you. You can reach me. You can either, you know, inbox me on Facebook. You can text me. The number to text is on your screen. You can email me, you know, info at hoffman.org. I can give you a prophetic word for your situation, for your life. Because you need, you know, you need prophecy in your life. Prophecy will guide and shape your life. Prophecy, as they are like arrows that will launch you into what God has for you. So, you, if you, or if you need a biblical guidance, you need, you know, have you have conflict or situations in your life, you don't know what to do about it. I can help you. I don't charge any fee for all this. Praise God. <laughs> freely have I received, freely I give. I can help you if you connect with me. I don't charge you. I just do it because God has sent me to you to be a blessing to you. So, you know, you can reach me through any of those, um, any of those means. And I can inbox me on Facebook. You can text me the number there. Text the, text the word love to that number you see on your screen. 
text the word love to that number and you're going to get a text back and by so doing you're going to be in constant communication with me you know and if you want to if you want to do you can also you know uh reach me by those means and it will be a blessing to you glory be to god so let me go back now and continue the teaching we are, we are on today i'm talking to you today on how uh how, how you how how you can get everything that you want how you can get everything that you want and if you are just joining me i want you to uh before let me let me i want to encourage you to you know if you are just joining me right now please take time out to share these brokers so that many more people can be blessed if you know share these brokers so that many more people can be blessed and i also want to know you know how this word is blessing you so share it take time out to share right now if you have not shared this year share it right now and then you know um you're going to be you know you're going to be rewarded for that god is going to bless you for doing that so let me go back now let's continue uh in our powerful teaching today i'm sharing with you and i'm showing you you know how to get everything that you want i'm letting you know that you can get everything that you want and i'm also showing you how to get everything that you want how to get everything that you want you know, have you, are there things in your life that you want to get and you don't know how to get it? I'm showing you how to get it, you know. You, so let me go ahead to tell you, you know, more interesting things here. Listen, you can get all the important things of your life added to you abundantly. All the important things of your life can be added to you abundantly what are the things that are important to you in your life they can become an addition they can be easily added to your life yes look at what the bible says here oh my god my god my god look at what the bible says in matthew chapter number six and verse 33 and uh, you know you see all the important things of your life all the imp what are the things that are important to your life they can be added to your life yes and they will be added to your life and i see them becoming added to your life all the important things of your life they can be added to your life look at it here i love you know i love to read the bible so i'll just read this to you and you know you it, it, it's so it's so profound it's so profound you know all the important things of your life can be added to your life how how can they be added to your life it says seek above all constantly seek god and his righteousness then all these important things will be abundantly added to your life constantly seek god and there's a thread i'm seeing from you know from when i've started God, you can only get, maybe I should say this now, you can only get everything you want in your life depending on how you relate with God. I'm seeing that now as I'm talking to you is a common thread that depending on how you relate with God, you can get all, all the important things of your life added to your life abundantly. You don't have to worry about what you're going to eat, what you're going to drink, what you're going to wear. He said, but you can have all those things that are vital necessities of your life added to your life if you will seek God. If you will seek God. If you will seek God. If you will, above all, cons constantly seek God's kingdom and his righteousness. So you, you will need to come to God. You will need to come to God. You see, listen to this. And I think I will say this. Most times when, you know, you hear a word like this, there is tendencies you can think, oh, but I know somebody who claims to be seeking God and doesn't have what they want in their life. How do you know that? How do you know that they are, they are constantly seeking God? How do you know that? How can you tell? How can you tell what a person does? The only person you can vouch for is yourself. <laughs> you, 
You can't vouch for nobody else. You can't tell what nobody else is doing. But anyone that constantly seeks the Lord will have all the important things of his or her life added. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Why am I saying this to you? Because it's a practical reality in my life. And I and I just, I, and I, I mean, that's why God sent me to you. Because I can't just imagine why you should not have all the important things of your life added to your life. Why should you not have it? But the secret is what I'm telling you right now for you to constantly, that's what the word of God says. It says, above all, constantly seek God's kingdom and his righteousness. Then all these important things will be given to you abundantly. All this, you know, in fact, in fact the Bible calls them less important things because what is more important in your life is your relationship with God. What's more important in your life is your relationship, your connectivity with God. And once you begin to seek his kingdom above all things, all the important things that are important to you, which in God's hierarchy, it says they are the least important things. What you're going to eat, what you're going to wear, what you're going to drink, what you're going to put on where you're going to live. Those things are good, but in God's scheme, compared to God, <laughs> you see that? Compared to God and compared to what God can do, those things are less important. And I think the problem, oh my God, thank you, Holy Spirit. The challenge most people have is understanding their priorities understanding their priorities, what is important on the list from what I have seen and from what I've shown you now on how to get everything you want out of life, the most important thing is your relationship with God. Your relationship with God is the most important thing because, you know, once you begin to seek God passionately, all the less important things will be added to you. And I pray for you today that things will begin to be added to your life. Things that you need will begin to be added to your life. I don't know what those things are, but I've shown you the way you can get it. Let me, sh let me show you something else. Look at it. Oh, I love this. I love this. Look at it. Your heavenly father is ready to give wonderful things to you. God is ready to give wonderful things to you. Wonderful things. Oh my God. Oh my God. God is ready to give wonderful things to you. Oh my. Look at this now. Yes, God is ready to give wonderful things to you. Wonderful things. Look at it. So that's why it's coming again your relationship with God, because God is the source of every good thing. God is the supplier of every good thing. What you need is an active relationship. You constantly seek God. Look at what the Bible says here, and I want to read it. You know, it's very, you know, um, interesting to me. Look at it. It says, do you know of any parent who will give his hungry child who asks for food, a plate of rocks instead? Do you know of any, <laughs> because somebody said, why do I need God? This is why you need him now. And God is giving you, is trying to get you somewhere. He said, do you know of any parent who will give his hungry child, who asks for food, a plate of rocks instead? Do you know any parent who will give his hungry child, who asks for food, a plate of rocks instead. Do you know anybody? When your child asks you for food, would you give him a plate of rocks? Or when asked for a piece of fish, what parent will offer his child a snake instead? 
Do you know any parent that will give his child, his or her child, a snake, live snake, when they ask for fish? I don't know. Then he said, if you, imperfect as you are, know how to lovingly take care of your children and give them what's best. <laughs> if you know how to take care of your children and give them what's best, how much more ready, how much more ready is your heavenly father to give wonderful gifts to those who ask him. That's the key. So God is ready to give wonderful gifts, wonderful things, but only to those who ask him, those who recognize him as their father, those who embrace him as their father. So there is a need. You see what I'm talking about? There is a need for connecting Activity with God. You need to connect with God and make him your father. Once God becomes your father, he will give you wonderful gifts when you ask him. Oh, yes. That's powerful. That's powerful. I don't know how best to tell you, but that's what he says. How, how much more ready is your heavenly father to give wonderful gifts to those who ask him. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, this is amazing. This is amazing. I'm going to pray for you for grace to ask and to receive. You know, the Bible actually says all this while, all the time you don't obtain what you want is because you won't ask God for it. <laughs> All the time that you don't obtain what you want, it is because you won't ask God for it. That's what the Bible says in James chapter number four, verse two. So, case settled. That's the reality. So, you don't have what you want. You don't have everything you want because you won't ask God for it. Oh, he said, I don't believe God exists, but he believes you exist. He believes in you. I don't, I don't, I don't know if God is real, but he's talking to you right now and he's telling you and he's giving you an invitation and he's telling you, you can have whatever you want if you ask him. He said, ask and you shall receive. Ask me, you shall receive. Seek me. You shall find what you want. Knock on my doors. I will give you everything you want. So the, it's, and it says here in James chapter 4, verse 2, all the time, this is the Passion Translation, if you ever read your Bible, it says all the time you don't obtain what you want because you won't ask God for it. My God. And I said to you, stop denying yourself of what you want. Start asking God for it. Start talking to God about what you want. Reach out to God. Get rid of your skepticism. Get rid of your unbelief. Get rid of your doubt. Embrace faith. Embrace faith. Release your trust towards God. Trust him. Take him at his word. Go to him with confidence. And then you're going to have everything that you want. Everything that you want. Oh, yes. Everything that you want. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I feel this is very powerful. This is, this is, this is mind-blowing. All the time you don't obtain what you want because you won't ask God for it. There are people who even claim to have a relationship with God, but they don't ask God for what they want or they don't seek him passionately, they don't pursue him passionately. But if you will be different, if you will be different, you see, the, 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 the currency, the, the currency of transaction 
with God is your faith, your belief. If you will not believe, you cannot receive anything from God. Yes, in fact, God says, if you will not believe, you will not be established. So the only way to get anything from God is for you to believe. He said, he that comes to God must believe that God exists and that God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So if you will seek God, if you will pursue God passionately, you're going to get everything that you want. Glory be to God. I'm not done. There are many things I still want to share with you right now, but my time is fast spent. I spend one hour with you, you know, every Tuesday. My time is fast spent. But before I go, I want to pray for you. I want to pray with you. I want to pray that everything you want, I'm going to continue. Let not your heart be trouble. I'm going to continue this, you know, uh, teaching with you on my next broadcast. Don't let your heart be trouble. I'm going to continue this teaching with you. But I feel in my spirit, I feel in my spirit, it says, all the time. You, ob you don't obtain what you want because you won't ask God for it. And I don't know the reason why you've, you don't ask God for it. Could it be pride? Could it be unbelief? Could it be you don't know him? But I want to pray for you. And I think the most important prayer I can pray for you today is to come into a relationship with God. That's the most important prayer i feel i can pray for you right now the first thing i can pray for you about is to come into a relationship with god if you don't have a relationship with god this is why you need to have a relationship with god because once you once you cultivate a relationship with him everything you want will become yours god will give it to you he will not deny you he will not withhold anything from you he will not keep back anything from you in fact, I, I think I should say this. Look at something here. He said, since God freely offered his son Jesus as a sacrifice, he certainly won't withhold anything else he has to give. That's Romans chapter 8, verse 32. Since God freely offered his son Jesus as a sacrifice, he certainly won't hold anything else he has to give. The Bible says, for God so loved the world. He loves you. He gave his only son that if you believe in Jesus, you're going to have eternal life. And then you're going to have abundant life. You're going to have eternal life. That's the life of God. And you're going to enjoy abundant life here on earth. How can you receive Jesus into your life? The word of God says, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever, you right where you are, right in your home, in your car, in your office, where you're watching me from, I don't know where you are, in your hotel room. If you're going to call upon God today, God is going to come into your heart and then everything you want will become a reality. You're going to get it you know, as you continue to seek and to pursue God, as you continue to relate with him, as you continue to ask him for it. But you need to cultivate a relationship with him. Jesus came so that you can be reconciled with God. He said, you don't have everything you want because you've not been asking God. Why have you not been asking God? Because you don't have a relationship with him. But that relationship can be restored right now. So I want you to say this prayer with me. I want you to say, Lord Jesus, say it. Say, Lord Jesus, I call upon your name. I ask you to come into my heart to be my Lord and my Savior. I believe right now that you died for me. Say it. I believe by faith you died for me. And you rose from the dead for my justification. So today, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I surrender my life to you. I'm a sinner. I ask you to forgive me my sin and give me a new beginning. Thank you for loving me. Father, thank you for giving Jesus to die for me. Thank you for saving me in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Oh, say thank you, Lord. 
Oh my God. If you said that prayer at me, it means you got born again. That is what it means. Now you are a child of God. Your sins are forgiven. I want to pray for you. I want to pray with you right now. I want to pray for you right now. I want to pray for you right now. So I want you to, you know, I, I just agree with me as I pray. Father Lord, I pray for this person, this child of yours that has, you know, said this prayer right now that has given his or her heart to you. I ask that you forgive this person's sin. I ask that Lord, oh God, this person's, oh God, this person's name is written in the book of life. I ask that peace enter this person's heart. I thank you for making this person your own child. I pray that your grace that saved this person, let that same grace keep this one in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for your mercy and thank you for your goodness. And maybe you are watching me. You said this prayer at one point in time, but your relationship with God has not been, you know, uh, consistent. But you can just say right now, I rededicate my life to you, oh God. Say, say, Lord, I rededicate my life to you, oh God. I thank you for opening my eyes to the secret to getting everything I want so I can pursue you passionately with all my heart. Father Lord, I pray, oh God, for your grace to establish this one in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. And I call it done in Jesus' name. I'm going to pray for every other need, but you that if I pray, if, if you know, uh, you said that prayer with me, I want to hear from you. I want you to uh, email me, please. Let me know you gave your heart to the Lord. Email me or text me or inbox me on Facebook. Let me know you made a decision for Jesus. Let me know you gave your heart to the Lord. You say, why do you need to email me? Uh, for I mean, number one, because I want to send some materials to you that will help you in your walk with God, that will help you to grow in your walk with God. If you email me, I'm going to be able to send some materials to you that will help you to grow in your walk with God. And number two, I'm going to commit to be praying for you. I'm going to be praying for you so that the grace of God will continue to fill your life. And if you want me also, I can help you, you know, walk side by side with you as you grow in your relationship with God. You can, you know, anywhere you are in the world, anywhere you are in the world, you know, you can connect with me and I'm going to make sure I work with you. I'll make time out to talk to you about your relationship with God and how you can grow in your relationship with God. So let me hear from you. Let me email me, text me. The number is right there on your screen, right there. Praise God. Yes, that's it right there. I want to pray for your desires right now. I don't know what you want. I don't know what you want, but God has been telling us today, you can get everything that you want. You can get everything that you want. So I want to pray that what you want will become your reality. Father, in the name of Jesus, this person has a desire. This person has a want. This person may have a need. I pray right now, whatever that need is, according to your word, you say, whatsoever we, we, we desire, when we pray, believing we receive, we shall have them. I come in agreement because if two of us shall agree, I pray for your desires right now. I pray for this person's desire. I pray that the desires are granted in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, all things whatsoever you need, I pray that they are released into your life right now in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing, receive your miracle, receive your favor receive your blessing, receive your promotion. I'm praying for you right now that things begin to happen for you in your life from this moment in the mighty name of Jesus. May the desires of your heart become the reality of your life from this hour in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. I give you praise and I call it down in the name of Jesus. Say, I receive it. Oh, say, I receive it. You have to believe that you receive and you shall have it. Say, I receive it. Say, I believe right now that I receive and I have it. If you are sick in your body, I'm praying for your healing right now. May the healing power of God, I release healing for you. I command sickness to go. I command disease to leave your body. I command health for you right now. Recover your health right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Sickness, go, pain, go, disease, go. Healing is released right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. 
I give you praise and I call it done in Jesus' name. Yes, I prophesy into your life that favor will flow in your life. Everything you want will become a reality for you from this moment in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. I call it done in Jesus' mighty name. Let me hear from you. You know, let me know what God has done in your life. Let me hear from you. Let me know what God has done in your life. Uh, you can you can you can text me, you can email me, you know, you can reach me. Just let me know what God has done for you. Glory be to God. I believe that God is working a miracle in your life right now. Before I go, I want to give you a very special opportunity. Uh, to plant your financial seed, to give a good offering today. The word of God says, if we have ministered to you as uh, spiritual things, we ought to reap your kind of things. So before I go, I want to give an opportunity to plant your financial seed into the good ground of this ministry. The way God blesses us is through our giving. When you give, it shall be given unto you. Good measure pressed down, shaking together, running over. God will cause men to give to your bosom. So I want you to consider sowing your generous financial seed today. Anywhere you are in the world, we have this is an acceptable platform. Just go to our website, hoffan.org, click the give button. Go to the website, hoffan.org, click the give button, follow the prompt. You have more, multiple options there you can give. You can give by cash app. You can text to give the number to text. I mean, you can text to give the number is right there on your screen 770-659-7713 text the amount you want to give to that number you're going to get a text back you fill it up and subsequently it's easier for you to give anytime you want to give or you can give through different means we have on our website just go to hoffman.org and give today and watch god multiply the seed you sow back to you that's how god will increase you i'm talking about the supernatural means by which god blesses you. You have to believe God. Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaking together, running over. God will cause men to give to your bosom. Let me pray for your giving today. Father Lord, I pray for this person who is going to be giving to the sowing a seed. I pray that Lord, you will bless the seed sown and multiply the seed back to this person, Lord, bountifully in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you Oh God, for honoring your word and life of this person in Jesus' mighty name. So go to the website and plant your financial seed. Glory be to God. Amen. I also want to invite you to come and worship God with us. You know, in any of our services, we're, we're, we're global right now. Anywhere you are in the world, you can be part of our services. Our times are Eastern Standard Time. But you can go to our website, hoffer.org. You know, uh, look at our time of services on Sunday. If you're in the USA, if you're in the Atlanta metro area in the USA, uh, in Georgia, we have two powerful locations. So you can come for an in-person service. But any uh, anywhere you are in the world, you can join us on Zoom. Go to the website, hoffman.org. You know, come and be a part of us. We're going to love on you and you're going to be blessed mightily. Your life is going to be really, really equipped, empowered, you know, and miracles are going to flow into your life. So if you like what you hear and what you see, you can be a consistent partaker of this grace of God upon my life. So I look forward to seeing you. So just go to the website, look at our schedule, and then, you know, be a part of it. All our times are Eastern Standard Time, but we are global right now. I want you to actually connect with this ministry and God will bless you in Jesus' name. Praise God. Praise God. All right. Um, I want to thank every one of you for, I want to thank you for being with me. I thank my wife also for being with me. And, you know, I, 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 I thank God for what God has done. I want to hear your testimony. Let me know what God has done in your life. I got to sign out right now. Um, this is Bishop O. Olafe with Faith Talk and Miracle Moments. I commend you to God and to the word of his grace until I come your way again next time. I want you to know that Jesus loves you and so do I. Shalom. <laughs>